Hey guys, today I'm filming my May beauty haul, just jumping right in. I did pick up one thing from Sephora. At the beginning of the month, whenever Sephora updates their 100 point perks, I always rush to the website and see if there's anything that I'm interested in. And this month, one of the point perks available was the Tarte Tartise Lip Paint in the shade Rosé. I haven't tried any of this formula yet. I know there's a bunch of different formulas, but this is the one that does dry down to a transfer proof finish. And right here is a swatch of Rosé. This is definitely a warm tone nude. And along with that, I did pick up a $2 Formula X nail polish and I added that in with my mom's Mother's Day gift. Moving on to Ulta, I got another free liquid lipstick. Whenever you guys are going to purchase from the Ulta website or go in store, I highly recommend going through your emails, seeing if there's any bonus points you can activate, and also looking for a little hidden free products. This was really tiny, slammed in the middle of one of my emails, and that was a coupon for the Stila Stale Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Perla. And right here is a swatch of Perla, a really pretty light mauve. I'm excited by both of these shades because they are quite wearable. Oftentimes whenever there's a free product or a point perk and it's a lip product, it's red or bright pink. So these are definitely colors I'll actually wear. That liquid lipstick was free with any purchase and I went and store with my mom and she actually picked up a clearance OPI polish and I just used my coupon with her order. So whenever you do have a coupon for a free product, I highly recommend calling your store and seeing if they have them available. That's what I did. They said they had a bunch, but I rushed right over to get it. And then I did actually purchase a couple things from Ulta. So Ulta released a 20% off coupon during the same time Sephora was having their VIB sale, which was a very smart idea because the Sephora VIB sale is only for 15 and Ulta is for 20% off. But of course, Sephora and Ulta don't have all the same brands. So I know a lot of people shopped during this time at Sephora and Ulta. The very first day that this coupon was available, I snagged these two items. I purchased two Z palettes. I'm sure you all know about the Z palette controversy. I've already talked to you guys about it on my channel, but this is where I currently stand. Z palette did release a statement apologizing, so I'm choosing to forgive them. And I'm not excusing what they did. I don't think it was okay, but if they apologize for it, what more can you ask of them? Because it's not like they can take it back. So that's where I personally stand. And honestly, I almost didn't include this because I was afraid you guys would be upset with me, but I do want to stay true to you guys. And I also want to tell you about this amazing deal. So this is the design of the Z palette that I purchased. This is really pretty. Pink isn't my favorite, but this is nice. This is a large Z palette size. This does retail for $20. And as you can see, it has Ulta Beauty written on it as well. And that's because this Z palette was made in collaboration with Ulta. You guys might know that Sephora has collaborated with Z palettes on a palette for them as well. So Ulta does sell all the Z palettes as online only products, but this one is actually available in store as well. And this is available in store with all of the other Ulta Beauty products. And Ulta Beauty is counted as a drugstore brand, meaning that this item is counted as a drugstore item, even though it costs the exact same price as the other Z palettes. So Ulta Beauty was on sale buy one get one half off and I was able to stack on that 20% off coupon. One of these palettes normally retails for $20. I got this for 12 bucks. So I ended up getting two Z palettes for $24 when one of them cost $20. What an incredible deal, and I can pretty much guarantee you guys you're never going to be able to get a Z palette as cheap as this. So if you guys have also forgiven Z palette and you want to get these, next time there's a 20% off coupon and the Ulta brand is buy one get one half off, I highly recommend you pick them up. I decided to purchase these because I am needing them for my ColourPop press shadows and also the Anastasia shadows. I currently have my Anastasia shadows in the small Z palette, but it's completely full and I want quite a few of her summer shadows so I do need to upgrade. So again, I hope you guys are not upset with me about buying these, but I really needed them and I wanted to tell you about that amazing, amazing deal. Next are probably the items I am the most excited about. I ended up placing two orders with Colored Rain and in the first order, I was able to snag the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. If you guys have not seen this palette, this is what it looks like. Sorry for the reflective packaging. The colors are so beautiful. A great mix of shimmers, metallics, and mattes. 
A lot of people have been raving about this palette like Nikki Tutorials, Jaclyn Hill, a ton of other beauty bloggers and I know my friend Jean loves this as well. So when they were doing their restock I was on the website ready to go and I'm really lucky I was able to get this because I heard that this palette sold out in 15 minutes which is absolutely absurd. I think they should have made more but I'm really lucky that this restocked on my day off and I was able to get this. But I do have some good news. Colored Rain is deciding to make this palette permanent. Right now they are accepting pre-orders and this palette will officially relaunch as a permanent product in October. So I'm hoping that they're very diligently spending these next couple months making as many of these as possible because a lot of people are dying to get their hands on these. I have a little mini rant. It sounds like Colored Rain is trying to do a a favor because everybody wants this palette, which they are, but you have to think about it. This palette has probably brought more people to their website than their other products. They're sort of kind of known for their liquid lipsticks, but Colored Rain is an indie brand that isn't crazy, crazy popular. So even though it is doing all of us a favor, it's bringing Colored Rain a ton of money. So I will be doing a palette of the month on this, but I'm going to save it until fall. That way I can do the video closer to the relaunch date. And then I did place a second order. So for Mother's Day, Colored Rain was 20% off their entire website. And I was able to stack that with an affiliate coupon code. I'm pretty sure I use the code for dupe that. I love those girls and I use their coupon code whenever I can because they actually buy a lot of their own products to review. So during that time, I picked up a couple of the Colored Rain Single Shadows. I put them in this little Anastasia palette. These normally retail for, I think, $7 or $8, but with the sale and the coupon, the price dropped down to $5.03, but I did have to pay for shipping, which sucked, but these were still a great deal. So I got two metallics, one shimmer, and one matte. I have Side of Olives, Malibu, Vintage, and Native. Temp Talia does have all the shadows on her website with swatches and dupes. These are similar-ish to other things I own, but they weren't exact dupes, so I felt like I could justify them. I am actually going to do a separate review on the single shadows. Also, I definitely will be comparing the formula of the singles to the palette and seeing if the formula is the same quality and consistency. So I am just ecstatic about those products and can't wait to use them. Next, I have a package from my friend Jean. She sent me two of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara samples and also two of the Urban Decay Perversion samples. These are some of my favorite high-end mascaras, so I was really grateful for Jean for sending that to me. And then Jean sent me a Julep lip gloss in the shade Splendid. I've never tried any Julep makeup before, so I'm really excited to give this a whirl. And right here is a swatch of Julep Splendid. Jean also gave me a little mini bottle of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juice Noir, one of my favorite perfumes, so I definitely cannot wait to use this up. And then I will keep this as decoration because it's so dang cute. So thank you so much, Jean, for your very generous gift. Next, I have a ton of drugstore products that I actually got for free. One of the ladies at at the place I was interning at had a ton of new makeup that she told me to take whatever I wanted and you guys should have seen it was boxes this deep this wide one just for foundation one just for lipstick so there was a ton of stuff I tried not to be too greedy but I did get quite a few things it was literally like a dream come true to be offered free makeup and take whatever you want like are you kidding? That's incredible. So first thing I chose is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I have tried this in the past, but it's been a while. And this is like a $16 primer. Then I did get three foundations. So I wanted to get your all's opinion. You guys know this month I am posting three different first impressions on foundations. I was planning on doing first impressions on these foundations next month, but I'm wondering if that is too many foundation first impressions all crammed together. So I'm gonna throw up a little poll question. Would you guys like me to film these first impressions next month? Or would you like me to hold off for a couple months to help space out those videos? So let me know which you would prefer. I'm absolutely okay either way. I can totally put these to the side and not use them because I got a lot of foundations right now. So to show you the three foundations that I chose, first is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in the shade 10 Porcelain. I've never tried a cushion foundation before. I think that'll be fun. I don't think cushion foundations are meant for oily skin, but Samantha Jane does really like that one. The second foundation is the Sonia Kashuk Soft Focus Satin Matte Foundation in the shade number one, Bisque. 
I've heard pretty good things about this one as well. And the third one is the number seven Beautifully Matte Foundation. This one is in the shade Cool Vanilla. This is the second shade in the range. I really wanted to try this formula anyway, and if I love the formula, then I'll end up buying the lightest color. Also, this was the only bottle of this foundation, and because it was just a little too dark, I figured I would go ahead and pick this up. So if you guys would like to see the foundation first impressions next month, I'm also gonna throw up in the cards which one would you like to see first? Same as last month, whatever gets the most votes to the least votes, that's the order I will put up these videos in. Then I chose two NYX HD concealers in Porcelain and Fair. I have used this, but not for a while, so I wanted to try that out again. And then I did choose one eye product. This is the e.l.f. Aqua Beauty Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. I'm pretty sure my friend Jean likes these, so I thought it'd be a great time to test this out. And then I chose a bunch of lipsticks. The first one is from the CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte Collection, and this is in the shade Sphinx, a really pretty light peachy pinky nude color. Right here is a swatch of Sphinx. And then I did get four of the pretty new Maybelline Into Matte lipsticks. The first Maybelline one I have is Peach Buff. Right here is a swatch of Peach Buff. As you can see, it is lighter and a little more pink than the CoverGirl Sphinx. Next, I have the shade Honey Pink, which is definitely brighter. And right here is a swatch of Honey Pink. I got Almond Rose, which I know is very popular. Here is a swatch of Almond Rose. And lastly, I got Brown Blush, which is just a really different lipstick color for me. And right there is a swatch of Brown Blush. So I was really lucky to be able to get all of this free makeup, and I am so, so grateful. So next, I want to show you guys my Sephora Playbox of the month. This month's theme is the Rising Stars, and this is what the bag looks like. It is clear with the word play written in red letters. This is so cute. I actually really like this bag and I'm definitely gonna keep this one. So for the hair product, I received the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt for Sensitive Oily Scalps. This is so cool. I know there's a product similar to this that just launched from L'Oreal that I wanted to try. This is a scalp scrub. I will let you know about that. I'm really, really excited for that. The skincare item is the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser, which is a pore perfecting cleanser for normal to oily skin. This is a great size and I've never tried anything from Sunday Riley and this is totally made for my skin type. So I was really excited to get this as well. And then the three makeup products were a bit of a letdown. First is the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. Haven't tried this one out yet. Not really into lip plumpers. And then we have an item from Trustique. Honestly, I'm surprised that Sephora picked up this brand. I don't think that the quality is good enough to be sold at Sephora. The packaging is cute, but like, meh. And this is a cream highlighter. And I guess it doesn't have a shade. When I had received mine, the highlighter had fallen out and was all the way in the cap, and I was able to smush it back in there, but I swatched it, and it does not give much glow at all. It is really natural, so no thank you. And the other makeup product is the one that I'm most excited about. This is the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Greystone. Right there is a swatch of Greystone. You can see compared to that Maybelline lipstick how very brown and gray this is. Honestly, I thought they mislabeled this and it was supposed to be a cream eye base. We'll see how this looks on my lips. Kind of scared of this color. And then the perfume is the Replica Maison Margiela. I don't know, we'll see about that. So the makeup products are not exciting to me, but I'm really excited for the skincare and hair care product. This right here is worth the $10 to me. This month is definitely better than last month. Then I wanted to show you guys some PR products I received. First, I have a package from Pixie, and this month's theme was Glycolic Glow. I've never tried any skincare products with glycolic acid before, so that's really exciting for me. The first thing is this Glow Mud Cleanser a deep purifying cleanser with 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. This is ginormous. It is 4.57 ounces. That is going to last you forever. The next thing is the Pixi Glow Tonic To Go Exfoliating Toner Pads with 5% glycolic 
and aloe vera. I'm really excited to try these. I love my Clearasil pads, but I'm almost out of those. And then I'm going to move on to these guys. And the third product I've actually been using every single night for the past couple weeks. This is the Pixie Skin Treats Overnight Glow Serum Concentrated Exfoliating Gel. And when I heard exfoliating gel, I was really worried that it was going to feel weird. This just feels like a really smooth serum. This product makes my moisturizer go a really long way. I don't even have to use as much moisturizer as usual. So I've really been enjoying this and I'm excited to continue to use this more. So thank you so much, Pixie, for sending me those items. I cannot wait to try everything out. Then I received my very first package from Derma E. I had signed up for their affiliate program a while ago and never heard anything back, so I was surprised to see these at my door, but very, very excited. So these are two makeup removing products. We have the Vitamin C Micellar Cleansing Water and also the Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil. I've only ever tried a cleansing oil and micellar water from Garnier. Yay. So I cannot wait to see how these compare and you can always use more makeup removing products. So thank you so, so much to Derma E for sending me those products. I cannot wait to test them out. So guys, that was my very, very long May beauty haul. Please let me know your thoughts on the foundations and any of the products I'm talking about here today. I would love to know what things you purchased this month. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.